This is daily prayer and declaration. This is uh, Deuteronomy 33, chapter 33 of Deuteronomy, uh, verses 25 through 29. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. Also his heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, first of all, I'd like to thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you very much. I give you honor and praise and glory forever for doing that. Lord Jesus, please forgive me for all of my sins that I've ever committed in my entire life. And Lord, I thank you for walking with me and being with me all of the time, 24 hours a day. Lord, everyone that's hungry across the world today that needs shelter, that needs fresh water, I pray that you would give everyone exactly what they need, Lord. Save every soul, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I thank you that I have uh, clothes to wear, clean clothes, a washing machine, a dryer. I have good food to eat. And I, and I thank you for a job and um, a car to get back and forth and uh, to do things with. And I really appreciate these things because so many other people don't have them now. And they had them yesterday, but they don't have them now. So I thank you so much for all of these things. And I thank you for your strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength, Lord. And I pray for more joy because I need more strength. And I need more joy. Lord, I thank you that when you came here and you died on the cross for me, that you brought heaven to earth and it's been here ever since and um, within the heavens that are surrounding me right now is my help Lord Jesus I thank you that you ride and that you are in this heaven that is surrounding me and that you are my help and I ask you for all the help that I get to get through every single day to get through today and get through tomorrow and I thank you for all your angels and the, the cloud of witnesses that are and all of everything else that I don't know about that is surrounding me in the heaven that you have brought to earth. And I thank you for all of your help, Lord. I thank you for all your trials, the trials that I go through, too, also, too, because they're very hard, but they're purifying me and making me as fine gold. And I appreciate you for selecting me as your son or your daughter to rule the universe with you one of these days and training me here on planet Earth. Lord God, eternal God, you are my refuge and I thank you that you are my refuge and that I am underneath your everlasting arms. <laughs> that you hold me in your arms, Lord, and you love me. Dearly, as if I'm your only child. And Lord, I thank you for thrusting out the enemy from before me and away from me. And I thank you when you say, destroy them. That's it's a wonderful thing because I don't need my, I don't need any kind of enemies trying to destroy me. I'd rather see them to be destroyed instead so that my life could be a whole lot easier. In Jesus' name. And then I ask right now in Jesus' name that every enemy, witchcraft, sorcery, um, every demon, unclean spirit, every Lucifer, every Satan, 
all of them, every last one of them, that you just destroy them all for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, with the authority of the blood of Jesus Christ, and as a son of God, I pray this, and I thank you for this law that you have written. Father, I thank you that I dwell in your safety, and I thank you for keeping me safe today, and I thank you for keeping me safe tomorrow with my angels, my guardian angels, that have always watched over me and will continue to watch over me. And I pray that wherever I work at tomorrow, that there will be angels of safety there also too, to, to help me get through my job tomorrow. And I thank you for the promised land that is inside of me, the land of corn and wine, Lord Jesus. And I pray that it rises up inside of me. I pray that you rise up inside of me, Lord. I pray that the Ark of the Covenant, the Seraphims and the cherubims, they also rise up inside of me too and cleanse and purify me. As you, as the heavens that are surrounding me now drop down, do. Lord, I want to be happier. I need to be happier to get through the days. And I thank you for blessing me with all of your joy and all of your happiness. But I am happy because I have a full stomach. And I, I get a paycheck, and I have a roof over my head, and I have fresh water, and I have a lot of food. So I am happier than I feel, or happier than I seem. And I thank you that for, the, for that I am very, very happy. I have so much more things that make me happy, too, that I don't even, that I take for granted. And Father, I thank you for saving my soul and rescuing me from the pits of hell. Thank you very much, and thank you for being my shield, shielding me from everything that's unlike you, and, and helping me, and being my sword, Lord Jesus, my weapon, my excellent weapon, and then, Lord, I thank you for finding my enemies, liars, now, in Jesus' name, find them all liars. Judge them, find them liars, sentence them. I ask all the warrior angels to bind, chain, and cage them all. Find them liars and cast them into the pit. That's what I ask in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that I do tread upon the enemy's high places. As a son of God or a daughter of God, I walk all over top of them. Just help me to realize that and help me to know it, even though I go through tough times. And uh, thank you for the tough times. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you so very much, Lord. I give you honor to all of the honor, praise, and glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. This is Deuteronomy um, chapter 33, 25 through 29. It's in the description area. And there are also other prayers below. They're very powerful. So read them, share them. With friends, family, on your social sites, it's okay. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like. And um, give a thumbs up if you like so other people can see it around the world. You guys have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, and by the way, get your spouse and your children together every single day. This is a great declaration to do for a couple of months straight. Do the same one. Everyone read it out loud together. And then everyone says their individual prayers. One by one, go around the room. And then everybody goes their separate ways. This is one way to guarantee that your relationships, every individual relationship will grow. And some of you guys will actually be able to trust and believe in God 100% for every single situation in your life one day. And that's what you really need. And that's what you really, really want. I guarantee it. You're going to need it one of these days. Keep praying. Keep talking to God. Don't ever stop. He's always with you.